hello my beautiful people you welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can prepare mixed okra and a goosey soup mixed okra and a goosey soup can be prepared with a little amount of money mixed okra and a goosey soup can be eaten with eba it can be eaten with fufu it can be eaten with wheat it can as well be eaten as you like Mixed okra and the goosey soup is very easy and fast to prepare. Keep watching as I'm going to show you all the necessary ingredients and the steps that you need to follow in preparing this delicious and nutritious mixed okra and a goosey soup. These are all the necessary ingredients that you need to prepare a delicious and nutritious mixed okra and a goosey. This is okra, a very fresh okra well washed and cut. This is what I'm going to use to mix with this egusi. This is egusi or you call it melon. In my language we call it ikon. So I'm going to mix these two ingredients together to have a very nutritious mixed okra and egusi soup. You equally need a tinkeni leaf. This is ozuza. This leaf used to bring a very nice aroma and so I like it so much in my soup. You also need ikbaina, cow skin or pomo, well washed and cut. You equally need periwinkle, mfi. Today I've decided to use the one with shell. This is blood tonic anyway. And so it is very nutritious. You equally need one fresh titus fish. This is palm oil. You equally need crayfish, well blended. This is dry pepper. You equally need chopped onions. This is seasoning cube. And then salt to taste. These are all the necessary ingredients that you need to prepare a delicious mixed okra and a goosey soup. With your pot on fire, you need to add your fish. And also add your ipaina. You also need to add your chopped onions and add your pepper. You also need to add your seasoning cube and also salt to taste and add a little quantity of water. You need to adjust it a little. Then cover it and allow it to cook for 15 minutes before other ingredients will be added. While our soup is on the fire, we need to cut the etinkeni. We need to use our hand to cut it. We don't cut it with knife. After everything is well cooked, you need to add water. You need to add the water based on the quantity of soup that you want to prepare. Remember, we are preparing mixed okra and a goosey, and so we don't need plenty of water. After adding your water, you need to add the mfi and also add your crayfish. And then you need to adjust it. Remember, we are using fresh fish, and so you need to adjust it gently and then cover it and allow it to cook for two minutes. Yes, our soup is cooking very well. We need to turn it and then taste for salt before adding palm oil. Mm. It's very sweet. You need to add your palm oil. Wow, this soup is going to be superb. After adding your palm oil, you need to add the chopped okra. You have to adjust it and allow it to mix. Immediately you add your okra, you need to add the melon. A goosey or ikun so that it will cook together. 
at the same time you need to add your etinkeni leaf and stay all together and allow it to mix properly this soup is going to be very delicious yes after mixing all nicely you're not going to cover it anymore so we are going to allow it to cook for two minutes and then we put it down and serve yes our soup is ready so i'm going to serve i hope you have seen how i prepared delicious mixed okra and egusi this soup is very easy and fast to prepare you can as well prepare this soup at home for your family my family loves it so much if you love this video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel also share this video with your family and friends see you in my next video bye